Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And it looks like we're going to have snow on the field for today's game between the Yale Bulldogs and the Harvard Crimson. It's time for a classic rivalry known as the game. We're thrilled to bring you the third most played rivalry in all of college football. And here comes the Crimson. The Crimson don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Yale has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. And the thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. I guess I should let you in on my pick then. I'm picking Harvard. Yale tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 18, fields it at the nine, gets past the tackler, still on his feet. At the 30, at the 40, across midfield. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. That looked like a breakdown in kickoff coverage. Instead of staying in their lanes, they all started spring to the football. That's exactly what happened. You can't do that. First and 10. Harvard lines up in a shotgun set. They run a counter. He's into the open field. The 10. Touchdown, Harvard! What a weapon this running back is. I'll tell you what, this guy makes the defense look silly out there. They're falling all over themselves trying to get him on that one. And he tacks on the extra point. With under five minutes remaining in the first quarter of play, the score, Harvard, seven, Yale, nothing. To kick. Number 16, back to return. He kicks it. Number 35, fields it at the 18. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 17-yard line. Yale lines up in a double tight set. Play action, short toss. It's deflected. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Single set backfield. Makes a move. At the 40. And he's all the way down to the 46-yard line. And that was an outstanding run by that young man. Brad, you're exactly right. The ball carrier is able to break through the secondary without much resistance at all. It's first and 10. 
Ball on the 46. Yale comes out with two tight ends. They go with a toss. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. From the gun. Drop back to pass. He's looking. Once at all. And it falls incomplete. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Uh, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. This is the fifth play of this drive. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Down the middle. His receiver has it. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First it's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Comes across the middle. Got him on the run. Brought down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. One man backfield. Somebody jumped early down there. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still. They'll be down. called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. First down and 15 to go. They're in the red zone. There's a play fake. With the throw. And he dropped it. Wow. I can't believe he dropped that one. Neither can his coach. Neither can his offensive line. Neither can his quarterback. Neither can his family in the stands. Neither can his... Hey, hey, hey. all right, Coach. All right. I think our viewers get the point. Oh, oh, hang on, Kirk. I was about to get to them. Our viewers can't believe he dropped that pass either. They come out with a big set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He'll dump this one off. And it's incomplete. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Yale goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking. And he's hit as he throws. Incomplete. Lines up for the field goal. He gets it up. And it splits the upright. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Looks ready to kick this one off. Number five, back deep to return. We should have a return on this one. Number 18, fields it at the three. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. First and ten. 
Ball on their own 27. 27 yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. He steps up, throws this one out to the right. Oh, great catch. And they make the stop. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. Number 33 is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. They'll throw on first down. Into traffic, and it's picked off. He spins, and he's taken down. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Yale comes out with an eye formation. And they got him for a loss. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Single set back to you. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. And down he goes. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Third and four. Ball on the 24. The Bulldogs line up with two tight ends. They're going to pitch it. He spins around. Got some open field. Touchdown, Yale. That run was really something, Coach. Well, this kid is a tremendous halfback. Just hand off the ball and watch him work his magic. And he hits the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Number five takes it from the six. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll take over at the 24. First and 10. Harvard sets up in the eye. On the ground, up the middle. They'll drop him for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Again with the run. And he stopped behind the line. No gain. No gain on the play. 
Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Number 16 is back in the gun. Back to pass. Throw short. He can scoop. Complete. And he's tackled. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 38. Harvard comes out with an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Over the middle. Caught. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. And they got him for a loss. This is just a nice play by the defense. They're not fooled at all in this draw play. You're right, they were all over that play. Second down and they got 15 for the first down. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Crimson set up in the gun. He drops back. Looks, he's under pressure. He's looking down the middle. And he's got him again. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up the play well, and then gets the ball out of there. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Harvard sets up in the eye, sheds that one. Tackle. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Fourth and three. Ball on the 37 yard line. Number 16, back in the gun. They snap it to the back. And he's taken down. And that was a huge run. Yes, indeed, my friend. What did I tell you guys? This kid makes big plays when they need them. It's first and 10, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll throw on first down. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. This one might be coming back, folks. First Let's check foul. out the penalty. Face mask on the defense. Automatic. First down. He took him down using his face mask, and that'll be a 15-yarder. You betcha. And that's the worst way to bring a man down. March it off, refs. First and 10. Ball on the 14. Harvard goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down. Steps up, lets it fly, and it's caught. They'll bring him down. Couple of yards at most on that pass. Gain of two on the play. About 12 yards out. The Crimson come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking, he steps up. He gets rid of it. It falls incomplete. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Harvard comes out with an eye formation with the throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on it. Fourth and eight. 
ball on the 12-yard line. Here comes the special teams. They'll try to tie this game up with a field goal. It's up. And it's good. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number 16, back to return. He kicks it. Number eight takes it at the 12. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 31 yard line. First and ten. Red the Bulldogs horse. come out in the ace formation. Cut. Back to pass. With the throw. Batted ball. Almost picked off. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31. One man backfield. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He tosses it short. And he drops it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and ten. Ball on their own 31. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. Incomplete pass. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going, and it's safe to say that's the case as he had zero completion. Fourth and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Number five. Didn't get all of that one. Number five signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 40 yard line. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll go to work at the 40. Harvard sets up in the eye. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Second and 13. Ball on their own 37. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Throws down the middle. Oh, what a spectacular grab. A good pickup that time. Yeah, and one of the things that can really open up this offense is their ability to complete these types of medium-range passes. You're right. That and the ability to run the ball consistently. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on their own 46. They'll work from the shotgun. High snap as he works from the gun. Swings it out to his man on the screen. Has it to the senior. Brought down. He's going to come up shy of the first down marker, guys. Had that not been a great defensive effort, he would have easily gotten there. Fourth and three. Ball on the 47 yard line. The Crimson are lining up to punt it away. Number 17 boots it way up there. Number 16 fields it at the 19. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. Ball on the 19-yard line. High formation here. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. 
with the interception. Got an opening. The five. Touchdown, Crimson. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Harvard 17, Yale 10. Ready to kick this one off. Number 16 and number 8 back ready to return. And this one's a short kick. Number 8 takes it at the 12. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll take over at the 32. First and 10. The Bulldogs set up in the gun. He drops back. Under heavy pressure. They'll make the sack. Yale takes a timeout. Second and long, ball on their own 26. Number nine comes to the line with three wide. Play action, rolls to the left. Going deep on the left side. And got him! That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. It's first and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. Little shake and bake move. Has some daylight. The five, touchdown, Yale! And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Yale 17, Harvard 17. Number 48 looks ready to kick this one off. Number 18, back deep to return. 
We should have a return on this one. Number five. Pass it at the five. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. The Crimson come out in a two tight end set. Drops back to pass. Looks, rolling out to the right side. And it's incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Second and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Harvard comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. He steps up looking. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Yale calls a timeout. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Number 16 with three wide receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Comes across the middle. And it's going the other way. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. Right. They'll go to work at the 23. First and 10. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Has his pullback. And down he goes. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. They call the fullback's number to take it in for the score. I like it, Brad. I like it. Give it to the big guy and let him go to work. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Yale 24, Harvard 17. Is ready to kick it away. Number 18, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 18, fields it at the one. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll get the ball here at the 17. They come out at a nickel. the ground with the tailback and he's tackled maybe a yard on the run by the tailback one yard gain on the play it's second down and nine to go ball on their own 18 they line up in an eye Ah! 
Back to pass. Under pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. Somebody came free there. Yeah, the linebacker shot through and nobody picked him up. He was all over him, Kirk. He wasn't letting the quarterback get anywhere. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on their own 12. Let's see if they look the wideouts way. He is in the zone. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Yale 24, Harvard 17. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Number 16, back deep to return. Short kickoff. Number 16 takes it at the 12. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Yale comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They get it out there on the top. And they make the stop. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 40-yard line. Jake's off a tackle. And he's taken down. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Yale goes with the ace set here. He'll keep it on the ground again. He has some room. Brought down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job at reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Off his hands, incomplete. Ball's incomplete. Number 30, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. Ace backfield. Another run, and they got him for a loss. They might want to run away from that guy next time. Third and ten, ball on the 38. The Bulldog, come out the shotgun, steps up, looking. And they get the sack. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass in the Let him get behind the rush and then take off behind his blockers for six. Fourth and long. Ball on the 44-yard line. 
The Bulldog. Line up to punt. Number 40 punts it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 39 calls for the fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 16. At the 16 yard line. First and 10. Harvard comes out with two tight ends. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Setting up the play action. He's going left. Got it. And he's taken down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and 10, ball on the 44. Ace backfield. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Drops back to pass. Looks across the middle. Almost intercepted. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Third and ten. Ball on the 44. Number 16 is back in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. To the middle. It's his tight end. On third and long, they get the first down. But was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. It's first and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looking. Throws to the middle. He's got it on the run. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and 10. Ball on the 18. Ace backfield. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking. Throws short. Complete. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That'll be a two-yard loss. Loss of two on the play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 20. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. Short off. Couldn't haul it in. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. This tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They come out with four wide out. Drops back to pass. Looks. He steps up. He's going right. And it's incomplete. The quarterback aired it out, but too far. Yeah, great try by the receiver. Technically, he caught the pass, but he won't get credit for the catch because he was out of bounds. The Crimson line up with three wide. Here we go. Wants to throw outside. 
Got it to his receiver. They'll bring him down. He looks to be hurt down there. Line up in a jumbo set here. They'll try to power it with a fullback. Touchdown, Harvard! The simple handoff to the fullback got it done right there. <laughs> Yo, give it to the big bulldozer and get out of the way. And he hits the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score, Harvard 24, Yale 24. Number 17 looks ready to kick this one off. Number 16. Here's the kick. Number 8 fields it at the 11. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll take over at the 27. Number nine is in the zone and looking to make a play. He's in, got away. He's in trouble. He zips it out. Someone got a hand on it. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Jed's a tackler. Tackle. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. First and 10. Ball on the 40. And they better keep an eye on that tight end. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. And straight ahead we go with a fullback. Brought down. They gained Number five yards there. On the run. Five yard gain on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 45. The Bulldogs. Go with the I formation. Short toss. And it's caught. Great concentration. They pick up two on the pass play. And so we've reached the end of quarter number three here with one quarter to go. We're all tied up. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 47. Number nine is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Here's the give. They'll bring him down. Well, Coach, you picked up a few yards on that one. Brett, tough running by this kid. It's first and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation, play action, 
He tosses it short, and he can't make the catch. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up, and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, Coach. Nowadays, tight end's gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Yale sets up in the eye. Again, he'll get the call. Tackle. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number nine with three wide receivers. Toss. And he's going to throw. And they make the stop. Number nine makes the catch. No gain on the play. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Bulldog set up in the gun. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looking. Deep pass down the left side. And they push him out. He couldn't make the catch inbound. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Bulldogs. Come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. No other choice but to go for it here. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's going to go for the home run. And he can't make the catch. They took a gamble, but they lost. Well, that gamble could really end up hurting him because if the opposing offense scores, then everybody is going to be pointing the fingers at that old coach. They'll get the ball here at the 35. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. They get it out there on the toss. Here's an opening, and he's taken down. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. It's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Crimson come out in a two tight end set. He'll get it again. Has some daylight. He's hit and got away. And he's tackled. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and 10. Ball on the 36. 36 yard line. Up the middle. Tackle. Three yards there on the play. Ball carrier. Three yard gain on the play. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 33. Three yard line. Setting up the play action. Wants to throw outside. Touchdown, Harvard! What an impressive call. I can hear the defense yelling run all the way up here. Boy, did they fall for that one or what?
And he tacks on the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Harvard 31, Yale 24. Number 17 is lined up to kick this one off. Number 16, back to return. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 8 takes it to 14. The offense heads out onto the field. On their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. First and 10. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. He steps up. He's going left. It falls incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. Second, Second and ten. ten. Ball on their own 36. Yard line. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. On the ground with a tailback. Bounce off the whippy tackler. And he's taken down. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 38. Single set back for you. Drops back to pass. Looks across the middle, incomplete. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 38 yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Number five. Didn't get all of that one. Number five, fields it at the 37. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll set up shot at the 38. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Number 88. Yale takes a timeout. Five yard loss on the play. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number 33 wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. Look at the strength. He's got an opening. At the 40, down the sideline, to the 20. Goodbye. What a run. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. And he hits the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number eight, back to return. 
He kicks it. Number eight fields it at the nine. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Throws this one out to the left. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Yale comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Up the middle. They'll bring him down. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on the 40-yard line. Yale goes with the ace set here. He's looking. Rolls to the right. Throws to the middle. And he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Fourth and one. Ball on the 40-yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Go with a pitch to the right. He can scoot. At the 40. Down the sideline. To the 20. And they finally push him out at the 15. And the defense cannot be happy about that play. Oh, that's a heartbreaker, Brad. So close to stopping him, getting the ball back, and they do something like that to break your back. Ouch. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. He drops back with the throw. Complete. There's a missed tackle. Brought down. Yale calls a timeout. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. Looks. He's going right. In and out of his hands. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Yeah. Yale comes out with two tight ends. Play action. Lofts it to the end zone. He came down with it. Touchdown. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Needs a good bounce for a possible recovery here. Here it goes. 
They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. They'll go to work at the 40. Harvard is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. And he'll just kneel it here. Yale takes a timeout. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Harvard will kneel on it here as they count the seconds down. And he takes a knee. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 44. The defense lines up with six DBs. Broke away from one. And down he goes. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. First and 10, ball in the 29. Harvard is about ready to celebrate a big victory here. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down in the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.